Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade tens. It's Mr. Shajai here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Now, what we are doing basically, we are doing application of trigonometry where, whereby we are looking at our 2D uh, shapes, right? Now, so this is basically our KZN paper, right? This is going to be our KZN 2023 paper, right? This is the final paper. Now, let's see in terms of, now, what is it that we were given here? Now, let's go through the question. They are saying, a handyman attempts to reach uh, the roof of the hole with a ladder that is five meter uh, in length, right? Unfortunately, the ladder is too short and the new ladder will be required. Now, suppose that the length of the ladder needed to reach the top uh, has to be double the distance from the foot of the ladder to the wall. Now, also, the angle between his current ladder and the ground will need to be uh, equal to the angle between the two ladders. Now, they want us firstly to calculate what is going to be our angle of feet, right? Now, they want us to find out what is going to be the size of feet, right? Now, what is the best way of doing our feet? Now, for an example, if let's say we are looking at all these, remember, theta is given by this, right? Theta is given by this, right? And what is that you have here? Now, if let's say we're looking at that and we are focusing on this red triangle, right? Let me just try and make it red so that you can see it, right? This red triangle. Can you see that this becomes your hypotenuse and this becomes the adjacent side? And now the trigonometrical ratio that you're going to use, it's going to be carb, right? Because you're having the adjacent and the hypotenuse side. So you're going to say cos of now what is this angle can you see that this angle is two theta right this angle is two theta so when you say cos of two theta this is going to be equals to what is going to be the hypotenuse side the hypotenuse side is given by 2x right uh it, it's car so we start with the adjacent side it's x divided by 2x right now, what is that you are going to do now from here? Now, as you are dividing x with x, what is it that you are going to have? So this is same as cos of 2 theta is equals to 1 over 2, right? Because this x and this x are going to cancel each other and you are going to be left with only 1 and here you are going to be left with only 2. How it's good. And then now when you do that, so which means when you say now your 2 theta is equals to same as cos of uh, 1 over 2. Now, what is going to be this one now? This is going to be same as your two theta is equals to cos of half since half it's a, uh, since it's going to be part of your spatial angle. This is actually going to be 60 degrees, right? Now, and since this is 60 degrees, you are then going to divide by two this side. You divide by two this side because you are looking for theta and not uh, uh, not two theta, right? Which means your theta is going to be same as 30 degrees. So which means here it's actually same as 30 degrees and here it's same as 30 degrees. Are we together? Hopefully all of this makes sense now. So then that's going to be your first answer for your six point what? For your 6.1. Uh, now let's look at now the next uh, following question. What is it that they require us to do here? They are saying, hence or otherwise, determine the length uh, the ladder should be to get the handyman to the roof, right? So now they want us to understand now what is going to be this length. So now they want us to find out what is going to be the entire length of this particular uh, wall, right? Oh, it's okay. So now, or rather, not necessarily the, the length of that because now this handyman is going to use a ladder and the ladder is going to be, you know, placed in here, right? Uh, for an example, let, let's say I want to draw this ladder. Let me see, right? The ladder of this handyman is going to be drawn in here, right? So that it reaches the top of the wall. Now, what is it that you're going to do now to uh, calculate for that one? Now, let's see. So now to find out what is going to be uh, uh, the calculations for this one, let's start here. Now we are going to start by saying now, uh, from here, starting from the foot, starting from the foot, now to get to that particular world, what is the best thing that we can do? Now we can start by firstly, you know, finding out what is going to be this X, right? Let's find out what is going to be the distance 
from here to here, right? Because now, if you can focus on this first triangle, right? If you can just only focus on this first triangle, this one, right? If you can only just focus on this triangle, we can get something that can lead us to find out the, uh, the, what, the bigger side, right? So now, if you can find out what is going to be our x first. Now, if you can find the x here, remember, we already know that this is 30 degrees, right? So you are having this side, which is the i. Uh, adjacent of this side and this is the hypotenuse of this side so which means this is going to be you what you are going to use your cos right when you say your cos of 30 degrees is going to be cos to uh now this is cos of 30 degrees which is going to be cos to now uh what is going to be the adjacent side the adjacent side is given by x right now the adjacent side is given by x this is going to be over five or to get and then now, what is this going to be now from here? Which means now when you are calculating your x, when you cross multiply, your x is going to be equals to 5 cos of 30 degrees, right? And when uh, this is going to be your x now, how can you then, uh, you know, answer that particular question? So, which means now when you uh, find out that your x is 5 uh, now, which means the distance here is same as 5. When you say 5, uh, cos of 30 degrees, what is this going to be, right? Now, this is going to give you your uh, your decimals, right? But now, if you look at this, right, if you can look at the leather, right, can you see that your leather is two times x, right? So, which means now this is for, uh, this is given by what? This is uh, going to be what? This is going to be same as what now? This is same as uh, your 2x is going to be cos to 2 Rather, all right, uh, or rather your leather. Let me just uh doing it this way, right? Remember your leather, uh, your leather is given by what it is given by two x. So what does this mean? What does this mean? So this is going to be two into what is the x? The x is given by five cos of what? Cos of thirty degrees, right? And when you say five cos of thirty degrees, what is it that you are getting now from here? Now, the answer that you are going to find here, this is going to be same as 5. Now, this is going to be same as 5 root 3, right? Uh, this is going to be same as 5 root. Uh, this is going to be same as 5 root 3. How to get? Uh, your answer here is 5 root 3. And now, when you uh, say what is 5 root 3 in terms of, uh, in terms of decimals, uh, then this is going to be same as 8,66, right? This is same as 8,66 uh, what uh, meters. Oh, it's okay. So which means the length of this particular layer that it's 8,66 meters above the ground. Oh, it's okay. Now, hopefully all of this makes sense and you are, you know, in a position to answer all these types of questions whenever you are given, right? Thank you very much for listening.